So when we were on our honeymoon, we stopped at a little tiny coffee shop somewhere along the coast in one of the little towns and we weren't quite sure which one it was. Mm -hmm. So yesterday when we were on a walk, we happened to see it. They were already closed yesterday when we walked past, so we planned on stopping on the way out today. So here we are, gonna go get some coffee. All right, let's go. So if you remember, I mentioned before that I've been always really into Irish and Scottish and on general Celtic culture. And so we went on a trip. It is this flag that caught my notice and that's why we decided to check the place out. In case you ever wanna come, it is this place, Sleepy Monk. And while it's really busy, it's Saturday morning, so there's lots of people out. Cape Disappointment. And we were disappointed. They had a few spots for us to choose from. We didn't reserve our site before and this has pros and cons to it. The pro obviously is that you can arrive whenever you want. You're not restricted and you're traveling by plans and reservations that you made before. The cons, as we learned, <laughs> is that sometimes you wouldn't believe that a certain day is a very popular camping day apparently and you run into a danger of not having a site at all or having to accept a site that you wish you didn't have to have. Yeah. So that's just something to keep in mind. So this campground is like our favorite campground to yeah. stay at. We, we used to come here every year and uh, in recent years we've kind of not come every year but maybe every other year or so. And, and uh, this is where one of the places where we stopped on our honeymoon. We've come here even before uh -huh. we got married, and so it has really lots and lots of memories for us. And so we're really happy that we can come here. It's quite overgrown, but. <laughs> what are you looking at? I carved our initials right here on our honeymoon 10 years ago. Can you point them out on the camera? Well, there's. J H and then E H. You can't really see it very well, but that's where it was. <laughs> about this beach is that it's really rich in magnetite. That's what this black sand is. And it's an iron ore. So if you had a magnet, all of this would be attracted to the magnet. I actually made a video a couple years ago for my science channel about this stuff. So I, I was playing around with a magnet with it. And so if you want to watch that, we can put the link to it around somewhere. 
but it's pretty cool because you can actually feel the weight difference like if you have a handful of magnetite and a handful of regular sand you can feel the magnetite is heavier that's pretty cool isn't it yeah Theo what you doing huh hey Theo what you doing That was... <laughs>